Red Sharp was 14 years old when he bought his first team of mules. Cost him $225. As Red puts it, he's been fooling with them ever since. Along the way, he's developed a stubborn streak. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm the type man that uh, won't do something that uh, nobody else ever has done. I mean, it just, uh, but I just, uh, something that, it ain't no, ain't no hobby in doing something that somebody else can do. <laughs> that someone made the mistake of telling Red that you can't domesticate a zebra. He couldn't do it. Red did it. That's the reason, uh, reason I got it, and they said it's just impossible to train a zebra, and I'd always wanted one, and so I sold this wild ranch, uh, 14 mules and seven wagons and everything, and they had them on this ranch, and so I just got after and buy one. They wouldn't sell me one for a month. It seems that whenever something new appears in Jackson County, Alabama, he's the man behind it. That's why he called his zebra first. Why do you suppose zebras got the reputation for being so ill-tempered? Well, they just never had, uh, never had been handled and then raised wild, just like uh, wild animals, and uh, nobody just never had took the time to fool with them and break them. You can't just break one over, uh, break anything overnight. It's uh, wild. It's just like a, a bear or anything else. A, a tiger. They've got to be got to take time with him. At first, people accused it's him of painting a mule like when they saw Red plowing his fields. Yeah. Then they took a closer look. There, plain as day, a zebra. All they could say was that they thought you couldn't tame a zebra. Red just keeps on plowing. When folks around this part of the country ask, where's Red? They just say he's out on the South 40, plowing his zebras. Yeah, that's what, what I do most of the time. <laughs> this is Andy Johnston. <laughs> Plowing your zebras. Plowing my zebras. Whoa, whoa, whoa.